Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, that's a strong fish. Oh. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful, out on the river, and I am recovering from being very sick. I'm not entirely better yet, so my voice is gonna sound kinda awful, and I'm not gonna speak very much in this video. So hopefully you'll enjoy it a little bit more because of that. Tom, come up, he's big. This is a really good one. Setting the hook, I can tell, felt like hitting a wall. Man, he's making big waves out there. That's a good fit. Oh, no, 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 oh no! Just lost a big fish on the hook set. Um, <clears throat> that's never actually happened to me with alligator gar before. I am just incredibly obsessive about tying knots and making sure the line has zero fray. And uh, set the hook and just felt a tremendous weight, the kind of weight you don't feel very often. That fish, that fish was over seven feet long. And uh, just instantly the line broke. The line broke at the knot. Just devastating. I cannot believe that happened. Ah. <coughs> Put another bait out. We'll see what happens. The chances of hooking that same fish again are you know, pretty small. That was a big one. Man, just the, the weight of that thing pulling against me. That was a big one. <sighs> Just trying to <laughs> get comfortable while we're waiting. Just lying down. You get used to this after a while. I mean, the more you do this kind of thing, the more you're okay with just sleeping <laughs> on rocks and stuff. Just listening for that clicker to go off and every now and then just having a glance at the line because you never know, it might come back the other way. I'm so glad it's not too hot today. It's a good day. I wish the wind would die down a little bit. Apart from that, it, it would be, uh, today is an A-plus day for alligator gar. Conditions are perfect. Okay. 
think we're on. I mean, we're on, but whether or not we stay on is a different story. It's coming back towards me, coming back towards me. I think we lost it, we lost it. Son of a gun, unless he's just moving so fast I can't keep up with him, I think we lost it. <clears throat> I can't tell. I can't tell what's happening anymore. Actually, I think the fish is still on. Are we still on? This whole time I thought I was reeling the bait back in. I think this fish is still on. Uh, what's going on here? Is this a turtle? What's going on? What is that? Oh damn, it's a really nice scar. Whoa! It took me by surprise. It came in like I thought I was reeling the bait back in the whole time and then suddenly, whoa! This nice fish just comes up right by the bank. He saved the entire fight for the bank. <clears throat> Man, he's, he is trying so hard to cut under these rocks. He's trying to bury his head in the rocks, guys. Ugh. Oof, this is a good fish. I wanna keep him in sight if possible. Yeah. Ah. It's a strong one. As long as I can keep, oh, the mono away from the rocks, we'll be fine. There he goes. You gotta be careful, so careful doing this. Some of these rocks will just roll right out from under your feet. That's a good fish, look at that one. Look at him. I was hoping he'd be bigger. There he goes, real nice. That's that night, oh. What a fish, man. Whew. This is what the last one I caught out here did too. Kind of a deceptive fight on the way in. Woo! Deceptive fight on the way in and then tried to bury its head in these rocks. They seem to have a system almost. They seem to have a system. Oh man, oh, that's a strong fish. God, these fish are so powerful. Let's try to get him around. I want him to turn the other way. Damn. He see how he, he is intentionally trying to stick his head down in those rocks. They're very smart. And uh, our braided leader is starting to cut in half. Man, it's gonna suck if it happens, but don't be shocked if that leader just goes. All right, we're all going down that way. Ugh. Right there. Look at that, that's a good fish. He's a good one. That's a big fish. Let's try to do this right here. I was gonna go around the uh, corner, but I think we can get him right here. Depends on how much fight's still in the fish. Come on, get that other pectoral through there. That's a good fish. All right, hang on. We'll measure, we'll get a measure on this one. All right, just kind of tape measures all the way up here. All right.
Hold still, hold still. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. I know, I know. Ah! Something in my knee just went. Oh, come on. Ah. Ah, don't bite me. Ah. There's little parasites on his head. We'll get those off. Gotta be careful if he kicks his head around while I got this knife out, he could send this knife straight into my own face. There we go. Just take some of these guys off. And we're not gonna get all of them, but we'll get some of them. Y'all leave them alone. Right, measure. Let's go underneath the rope. This one's Around the nose, there we go, beautiful. You gotta make sure you just pin the tape down to the body as you go. I don't have to hold on his nose as long as I hold every single other part just right. And this fish is uh, right, right at six feet. Six feet even. Good fish. Ah. I know, I know, I know. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Ah, oh, where did my pliers go? I think he threw them in the. Oh, they're behind me. I know, pal. Oh, this guy is just getting the better of my left knee. Hook's not even in his. Hook's not even in him. He's just got the. Yeah, there we go. Look, he threw the hook on his own. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. You can have the bait, buddy. I just want the hook. Ah, yes. Ah. He threw the hook on his own. Look at that. He's, he's sitting on top of the line, but I don't care. I'll, I'll cut the line for his sake. Hang on. That's where I carry these. All right, hang on. Time to go. Time to go. I may not be able to get the... Uh, whole fish in frame but guys this is uh this is a good sized fish about six feet long i want to get him in the water come here cooperate with me shove him out like a ship there you go try to get some water over his face his eyes let him know that he's uh yeah yeah exactly you hear him breathe out He's still, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That was a nice little deep breath out. We have 10% battery life left on this GoPro. We might even die before the fish takes off. I wanted to let go of this rope though. Let go of the rope. I'm gonna try to move him to uh, the deeper spot on my left here. Yeah, see how he just kind of sank down in the water? Deeper water on my left. That's where I want this fish to recover. Look at that. Gorgeous animal. I'll just stay here for a second. You don't want to rush it. This process, you need to give all the fish the time it needs. Give, you know what I'm saying. There we go. Amazing. Catch thousands of these things and it never ceases to amaze me. 
and they always take pieces out of me. Oh, my knee is in so much pain right now. Uh, as I was coming down the embankment, I just took a, a really long step and I could just feel like if I, if I pulled my knee closed, I could feel like something was gonna snap. Almost like, like if you wrapped a, a rope around something the wrong way that was trying to expand. I know that's a tendon. I don't think I tore anything, but man, it hurt. And then he hit me with his head and that hurt too. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's always, um, it's always a bit more of a, you know, fair contest when they get back at you a little bit. He's just kind of gently slid off there. I wouldn't be surprised in a minute if we see him come up out there for a breath, but he took a good breath right here before we put him in. <coughs> Man, that took a lot out of me. I'm still very sick. Haven't quite recovered all the way, so. I'm feeling it now. <clears throat> but it is nice to see a beautiful fish like that, and it is nice to get the hook out of his mouth, which we did. I'll show you. Oh, I, I cut the line. Hang on. I forgot I cut the line. Got the hook out. I was using a J hook because I was. I needed a thicker hook. All my circle hooks were actually getting bent out. So the fish were hitting it so hard and fast that uh, my circle hooks, I was using a very light wire and they were bending them out. So I needed a thicker hook. So I went with that one. It worked out quite nicely and we got the hook back and that's always the most important part. Fish goes back in the water, we get the hook back. Tribe Wear Outdoors, guys, check them out. Check them out. Link in the description, that's our apparel sponsor. They make a great lineup of outdoor themed clothing and accessories and we have our own line. <coughs> if you want to sport some merch from the show, Wildlife has its own line. I'm going to try we're outdoors. I'm going to turn this other camera off before it runs out of battery. Ouch. Oh. Oh, that hurt. I felt something just, something just popped in my knee. Oh, God. In the words of Danny Glover getting too old for this shit anyway check out the apparel sponsor link in the description check out the patreon link in the description and i put some links in the description as well about the conservation of these incredible animals my voice is going i don't know if you can tell but it's it's about to be gone so check out the uh information links down there about the conservation of the alligator gar very important native species oh my god <sighs> Ooh, all right, well, that's going to be it for us today, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And until then, I'm going to go collapse <laughs> up there into a helpless pile of broken, broken, and I'll see you guys later.